Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you a beautiful staking website that you can use for any network and any token project. This is how the website looks and it can be easily customized. The colors, the background, logo and everything. And we have also multiple pools which we can set different API and uh, staking period and we can also if we want we can do uh, different token staking for each pool so we can stake different tokens on each of them and I'm gonna show you in this video how to set it up and if you need this for your project you can reach out to me on telegram and we can set this up together so this is how the website looks we're gonna test on Binance Smart Chain but it can be customized for any network so this is a smart contract is the first thing we're gonna do uh, deploy the smart contract and this is the code we don't have to change anything in the code every all the settings will be set up after we deploy so the first thing we do is we select the compiler which is 8 uh, 0 0.8.15 and then we deploy make sure to select the contract name staking and click deploy I'm not going to deploy since I have one, but uh, this is the process and then you simply verify the contract. It is very easy to verify as it is uh, not, uh, it's not very complicated code. So this is the contract that has been uh, deployed. This is a project I did for one of my clients and after you deploy all you have to do is add pools because without a contract deployed it will not show the api and the staking periods so here we add the pools we have three pools here but we can add even more if we want and we're going to activate these three pools so the first one is pool one let me find uh, the token contract first. Um, okay, I would just pick a token, a random one, just to show you. Let's say we want to stake a BUSD. Okay, so the first thing we do is we connect the owner wallet and we add the pools here. So here we have a deposited token, which is BUSD. And if we want, we can add uh, a different reward token. So the staking token and reward token can be different if you want. If you have two projects, you can uh, stake uh, one token and give rewards in another token then we have here the API the API should be in days so if we want uh, the API to be uh, oh sorry we have an API which is in percentage let's say 100% and now this is yearly okay and then we have uh, the log day so if we want for two months we add 60 days and we click right this will activate the first pool okay this will have this stats and uh, then for the second one you simply wait for the transaction to go through and you change uh, you add again the staking deposit token the reward token API we you want 200% per second one and let's say 90 days after that you click right you confirm the transaction and you have set up the second pool after this we do the same one for the third pool 
and we will have three pools all ready for uh, users to stake their tokens but uh, if we want to edit the pools we have this function here which says modif modify pool we can modify the API we cannot change the staking period but we can change the API so what we do let's say we want to uh, change the API for the first a pool we add the ID 1 so we have 1 2 3 this is the IDs and you add the API let's say I want to change it how much it is it's 300 percent I want to do it 100 percent modify pool confirmed and let's see now Let's check on the website. Okay, we have updated the pool number one and now it has 100% API and this is how you do for all of them. Then we have the renounce ownership, we have the sweep which means you can withdraw the tokens this is if you want to change uh, the pools or migrate to another contract but keep in mind that you can only withdraw the tokens that you have deposited for rewards you cannot withdraw tokens deposited by users this is done to protect the users then we have transfer ownership and withdraw tokens for the users this will this withdraw button will appear only when the staking period ends okay so after you have deployed and set up the contract all you have to do is go to your files open the files on visual studio and at the index.js file you change the contract address you will find this one and you replace it with yours and here we add our token address so re we replace this with our token click save all and then simply zip your files and upload to your host and it will look exactly like this for if you want to edit and customize the names uh, logo and everything else you simply use search you copy the name here and you search it on the code it will give you all the names you have to uh, change okay so you find them easily and update with your project's name so this is it guys, thank you for watching, uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video and see you in the next one.